Aldol condensation is one of the important uh, reaction of aldehyde and ketone. First of all, why it is aldol condensation? See, ALD is actually arrived from aldehyde, OL is from alcohol. Combination of this ALD and OL convert the mechanism as or the name as aldol condensation. Under the influence of dilute base, two molecule of aldehyde and ketone, two molecule of aldehyde or ketone combine to form beta hydroxy aldehyde and this reaction is known as aldol condensation. The aldol reaction is more favorable for aldehyde because of less steric hindrance and more acidic hydrogen than ketone. So always remember the rate of reaction of aldehyde are higher as compared to ketone if you are talking about aldol condensation. The reason is this high carbon is less sterically hindered and the alpha position carbon having hydrogen is more acidic as compared to the ketonic group. So let's start with the aldol condensation reaction mechanism. I have taken aldehyde group treated with this NaOH. So two molecule of this combined to give beta hydroxy ketone again NaOH or heat this hydroxy group eliminated through even and forming a double bond at this position. Now what are the mechanism of this aldol condensation? As far as the mechanism is concerned, aldol condensation is take place in two different mechanism. One is acid catalyzed, second is base catalyzed. And there are four different type of aldol condensation. One is simple aldol condensation when two similar carbonyl compound react. Second is cross when two dissimilar carbonyl compound react. Third is intramolecular when a single molecule consists of two carbonyl groups. Fourth is retroaldol condensation which is the backward reaction of an aldol again further same aldol condensation take place. I will explain mechanism of all these four. Let's start with the acid catalyzed and base catalyzed reaction mechanisms. So let's start with the first of all base catalyzed mechanism. So step in the base catalyzed mechanism let us take an example of aldehyde. Let's say this is ethanol, two molecule of ethanol treated with NaOH. So NaOH is a base two molecule of ethanol, what is the mechanism? So in the first step, aldehyde group which consists of alpha hydrogen, this OH minus remove this hydrogen because this is acidic hydrogen. Why this is acidic hydrogen? Because this negative charge is resonance stabilized. So the conjugate base is stabilized through resonance. So this hydrogen become acidic. So in step one, OH minus eliminate this hydrogen forming a carboanion which is resonance stabilized. So in the second step, because the carbon consists of negative charge, so it is a very good nucleophile and another molecule of carbonyl compound, this carbon is a very good nucleophilic site. So in step two, we will get two things. One, a good nucleophile, which is C negative and second is a nucleophilic site in which C atom is attached with double bonded O. Now this C negative attached to this nucleophilic site and both the electron are accepted by this oxygen. So the second step, this oxygen is converted to negative charge and a new CC bond formation take place. Now this negative charge accept one hydrogen from water and convert it to aldol. So this is a base catalyzed reaction mechanism. Now what happened in acid catalyzed reaction mechanism? So in acidic catalyzed mechanism, the H plus attack to this oxygen. In base, the OH minus attack alpha hydrogen. So in general, you have seen different books written that any carbonyl compound which have alpha carbon and hydrogen, acidic hydrogen is present, such molecule undergo aldol condensation. So when base is treated, carbonyl compound alpha carbon hydrogen is removed. In presence of H plus, this H plus attack to this carbonyl compound and increase the enol content. So what happened with this enol content? So let's take another molecule of carbonyl compound. This is the second molecule of carbonyl compound and we have a enol. Now this oxygen plus R effect take place. Both the electron are come to this carbon. So can we say in enol, this is CH2, this is double bond C, this is OH, H. So H plus convert carbonyl compound to enol form. Now the oxygen lone pair plus R effect take place. Both the electron are accepted by this carbon. 
which is converted to negative charge and it acts as a nucleophile. Now this nucleophile can approach to this carbon. So the product form will be aldol. So aldol condensation takes place in H plus as well as OH minus. But, the, but in dissimilar carbonyl compound, the product may vary in presence of H plus or OH minus. Let's see what are the basic difference between these two. See, let us take an example of this carbonyl compound. Now, if I take OH minus basic medium, two molecules, there is two hydrogen. One hydrogen is this one alpha, this is another alpha. All of you know that this hydrogen is more acidic because this hydrogen, if you remove this hydrogen, you will get negative charge at this carbon and this alkyl group will show plus I effect. So this hydrogen must be more acidic. So OH minus remove this hydrogen, you will get negative charge at this carbon and this negative charge attack to carbonyl compound. So can we form a product of this reaction is like this. This is a double bond. As I have told, we will get negative charge at this position. So this negative will attack to another carbon and this will become OH. This will become OH. There is one methyl group and second, there is one three carbon attached with this carbon. So one, two, three. So this is one, two, three and this is the product. Whereas if I take same carbonyl compound in acidic medium can I say it is converted to enol so there is a two possibility enol form at this position or enol form at this position all of you know that there is a double bond at this position will be more stable because of hyperconjugation so can we say the more stable enol form will be like this and the plus r effect both the electron accepted by this carbon so you will generate nucleophile at this carbon so this is the basic difference in case of OH minus the nucleophile is generated at less sterically hindered carbon whereas in presence of acidic the nucleophile is generated at more sterically hindered carbon. So what happened the product R so uh, let, let's say um, I will prepare this product is like this there is a double bond so the attack from this carbon so there is a OH and three carbon are attached with this. So see the difference between the acid catalyzed and base catalyzed mechanism and this difference is only because of nucleophilic site. So in base catalyzed mechanism, the nucleophile will form at carbon which is more stable with the negative charge whereas in acid catalyzed, the nucleophile will form at substituted double bonds. So because of these two differences, the product are different. Let's see what is cross aldol condensation. If you take two different carbonyl, one is aldehyde, second is ketone, there is a possibility of forming of these four product. You can able to form the mechanism of these four product also. So if there is a nucleophile form in at this carbon attack to this, so aldehyde attack to ketone, this is one product. Aldehyde attack to ketone, this is one product. Aldehyde is a nucleophile attack to aldehyde, this is second product. Aldehyde, oh sorry, Ketone as a nucleophile attack to aldehyde, third product. Ketone as a nucleophile attack to ketone, fourth product. So C first product. So in this case, this is an aldehyde group C negative attack to aldehyde. So aldehyde nucleophile attack to aldehyde will give you this first product. So in the second product, ketone attack to ketone. So this is ketone attack to ketone. So for practice, you have to uh, draw the mechanism also. So let us take a third example. This is a ketonic group. This is a ketonic group and this is aldehyde group. So in this ketone is a nucleophile attack to aldehyde. So third compound, this is aldehyde group and this is ketonic group. So aldehyde is nucleophile attacking to ketone. So these are the four product. Now if I uh, say these are the four product, what will be the major product? So in, if the question is asked in two different alkyl light, then there is a two possibility one is which you have to identify which carbonyl compound will have a better nucleophilic site which is less sterically hindered so this carbon consists of partial positive this carbon consists of less partial positive due to two methyl group plus i effect this is less sterically hindered so this is a very good nucleophilic site so prefer good nucleophilic site so attack ketone to this aldehyde in general aldehyde aldehyde product will be the major product and if you ask second major product then aldehyde no, sorry ketone act in aldehyde will be the second major product so this is a byproduct form so we generally prevent forming cross aldol condensation 
let us take an example of intramolecular aldol condensation in intramolecular aldol condensation generally we prefer five or six member ring and it consists of two carbonyl compounds at same carbon or same uh, chain so let us take in this example so this is first second third fourth fifth sixth seven seven carbon so if i take seventh carbon negative to second carbon i will get six member ring if I take another fifth carbon to this, I will get four member ring. So all of you know that six is more stable. So this will be the major product of aldol condensation. So generally prefer aldol five, six member ring rather than four and three member. So this will be the final product. Now this is one example of intramolecular aldol condensation. I have taken OH minus. This OH minus will remove the hydrogen from this position. Now this is net nucleophile attack to this carbon. Both the electrons are taken by this oxygen. So it will become negative charge. So it, the, the intermediate or one product form at the first step will be like this. There is a double bond O and this compound is converted to OH. There is one methyl group. Now upon heating it will undergo even and OH and H will remove as water forming a double bond. So this is the intramolecular aldol condensation. Another example of intramolecular aldol condensation, I have taken an esteric group and ketone. So this hydrogen is removed, attacked to this position forming OH, then again water is eliminated forming a double bond. So what is retroaldol condensation? In general, retroaldol condensation is reverse as I have already explained in the first part. Let us take an example of retroaldol condensation. See, for example, let's take a hydroxy group at this position and ketonic group at this. So you can able to see this is a three member ring, which is unstable. When OH minus is reacted with this molecule, this OH removed the hydrogen, which is attached with the OH minus. Why it is removed, I will explain after third step so you will get a structure like this right now uh, see carefully the plus r effect of this oxygen will break the three member ring both the electron are accepted by this carbon so can i say it will give you double bond there is a double bond form at this position there is a double bond again c you will get i am writing ch3 this position negative charge so this bond for break this carbon get positive charge positive and negative form double bond o there is a negative charge that will be as it is this negative will accept one hydrogen from water now you will get c double bond o h after reacting with water there is a two double bond o ch3 so from water this negative accept one h plus now there is a basic medium so again OH minus replace a hydrogen from carbonyl compound alpha carbon so you will get C double bond O H double bond O CH2 negative now this negative can act as an intramolecular aldol at this position so you will uh, you can able to see that you are getting a five membering after this right double bond O CH2 so this is a five member ring so this three member ring is now converted to five member ring which is relatively more stable uh, now what happened in this you can able to see this oh minus remove this hydrogen see this one if i go backward you can able to see this is aldol of from this step to this step this is again aldol so this ring first open then again aldol condensation take place because of the expansion of this three member ring such reactions are known as retro aldol condensation let's discuss few questions of uh, aldol condensation so this molecule react with this and the question is number of product form in this type of reaction see if there are two different carbonyl compound you can able to see that suppose this is first this is uh, second so how to form different type of product first will attack to first first will attack to second second will attack to first second will attack to second so four product will form easy so first will attack to first means first as a nucleophile and this is as a nucleophilic site so first nucleophile converted nucleophile can 
attack to nucleophilic site first second second first second second so total number of product are four easy question the second question is how many molecules of aldol condensation so all of you know that any carbonyl compound having alpha carbon if there is a hydrogen it will undergo aldol condensation so the first example exceptional case it consists of a carbonyl compound having alpha hydrogen but this alpha hydrogen is difficult to remove because of the plus i effect so it is not possible to remove this hydrogen to undergo aldol so it will never undergo aldol condensation carbonyl compound having alpha hydrogen but it is sp2 hybridized so it is present in the plane so the conjugate base never undergo resonance so it will also not undergo aldol condensation this will undergo retroaldol i have already explained see in this there is also sp2 but this hydrogen is more acidic because this negative is charge is resonance stabilized so you can able to get a nucleophile at this position can easily undergo aldol condensation so moving to another question the product how many consist of deuterium atom so in this case you have they have asked deuterium atom so all the hydrogen are replaced by deuterium so this molecule is converted to cd3 c double bond o cd3 so the correct answer will be 6 all the alpha hydrogen are replaced by deuterium and you will get 6 now uh, this is a um, two type of reactions of aldol condensation first is this negative charge will attack to this carbonyl compound this negative charge attack to this carbonyl compound so you can see this molecule is coming from ch3 cho so count number of such type of molecule 1 2 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 and again this carbonyl is also converted to cho means there is one canizero take place so six aldol condensation one canizero so total number of x which are involved in this reaction are seven why seven because out of six molecule undergo aldol because at the first step you will get ch3 c double bond o ch2 minus and it will react with c double bond o h this negative approach to this so this is aldol so first aldol like this there are six aldols and one canizero so the correct answer is 7 see there is example of intramolecular aldol it this is acid catalyzed aldol so you have to identify which molecule is more stable see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now there is a uh, h plus will attack at first at this oxygen and this form a enol the plus r effect convert this negative and come to double bond so there is a double bond at this position so this will be the most stable product both are five member ring so this is the last question uh, this is a four member ring and converted to six member ring i have already explained four member ring is converted to six member ring through which reaction so this will be the retro aldol condensation remove this hydrogen there is a negative charge plus r effect of this negative charge break the bond and convert to you can able to try the mechanism by yourself so the correct answer will be b so i have explained the aldol condensation to solve all the questions of aldol condensation given in the website thank you